good morning and welcome back it's a little overcast this morning but it's a great day to be outside and get a little work done the birds are singing and it looks like it's going to turn out to be a beautiful day okay as you can see behind me i've already got a few course of brick run i've went through and pinned all my corners to make sure that i'm square so that we can get this done as quick as possible so I'm keeping my fingers crossed, but still it's a lot of work. Up here on this end, we run into, just like my garden, a lot of limestone. And fortunately it's kind of soft, but when you're doing it by hand or removing it by hand, it's it can be a little time consuming and a little back breaking sometimes. Welcome back. Here we are it is tuesday afternoon um got off work got something to eat and come on out here to get this stuff going so we can get the chickens out here to the coop so this is where we are the predator barrier is almost done all the blocks in place and believe it or not i'm only an eighth of an inch out of square <laughs> can't believe it so anyway uh, I'm just going to make that up with the seal plates. Once I get that done, I'll lay my marks out on the seal, seal plates square and then we'll just go off of that and believe it or not, also going across ways, I am almost, I'm just touching the line on that side. So that's close enough because it's just a chicken coop. So anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is take the shovel and start back filling on the inside and then we're going to take the tractor and try and scrape all this around the outside. So if I can get the inside backfield, then, <coughs> excuse me, once I get that backfield, then when I come around with the tractor, my, my bricks or blocks rather, I'll get it right eventually. The blocks shouldn't move because uh, I haven't decided whether I'm going to do the concrete by hand well mix it by hand or just call a truck and get them to come out here and pour it uh, pour concrete down inside the block and I don't know let's hope it's not going up in price like everything else so that's enough let me uh, get a little bit of physical labor here going and I've already started backfilling here and I did backfill on the outside so that those won't move because it is three course a block there so and everywhere else is just two so i did my math and i took my time is it perfect no like i said i'm just a little off but i can make that up when i lay the coop and the run out on the seal plates to square everything up as long as it's level and stuff i think will be okay so let's put <laughs> this to work this is how you call it an antique backhoe
and once I'm done I will go back and check the top course of block to make sure that it didn't move and if it did then I'll get it back in line all right it's about seven o'clock um, so I think I did pretty good with just a shovel and a garden rake for two hours worth of work uh, the inside is done all the way up to the top I mean sorry to the bottom of the top course of block except for down here in the corner uh, what we're gonna do is take the tractor and go around and try and fill the rest of the outside back fill the outside whatever's left we're going to take and put on the inside because i want to build the inside of this up as high as the top of the block that way it's level and i don't have to worry about tripping or falling to come in here to clean this place out or to whatever i need to do inside so uh, i'm just going to pause this part of the video for here and we're going to pick back up friday hopefully with a little tractor action so uh until friday have a good night and we will see you friday afternoon right before the weekend have a good one and we'll see you then